but it's good. I'm doing a tutorial for a school project. Uh, jump straight into it, to the gear. Uh, <clears throat> I'm using my Schecter DMX7 uh, as my guitar. Active pickups. Feels great. Um, for my tone, I'm using my MG100 modeling processor uh, for my different you know settings and you know amp presets and such. Uh, and then for my outlet or speaker or amp, however you want to put it, I'm using my PV Solo Series 150 Special. Uh, today I'm... Oh, tuning, by the way, for this song is in drop A. <clears throat> so it's basically just E standard, you know, six strings up, and then A on the, like, thickest string. Um, but yep, I'm <clears throat> making a tutorial on how to tutorial, sorry, uh, on how to play Siren's Call by Guttural Slug. <clears throat> I feel like it's one of the more easier songs in this, you know, kind of genre. Uh, not very hard to learn at all. It's also not a long song, so pretty easy learn. Let's get straight into it to break down the first riff. <laughs> It's just using the first three frets. That's all there is to it. All you gotta do is go from you know three, two, one, but instead of it being one, it's open. So, and then after you hit that open one, you want to go back to two, and then go back to one. You know, open one, of course. But uh, right after that, there's a bit of a sputter that he does right here, like in the sequence that it's in. That little sputter right here where it hits it twice. What I like to do, or what I you know did at first, was I just put it in a small like small small segment to just like get it down faster. So what I did is practice that. And then from there just repeat it like back to back and it works like a charm. Uh, all you really got to do is pay attention to the order that he uses those notes in, but at that point in time, after listening a couple times, should be clockwork. Now to jump right into the next part of the song, uh, it's also not really hard at all. Um, it's just a sputter of hitting the strings four times. Three times, whatever. Four times if you may, I don't know, I'm horrible at counting, you know, probably something bad with music, you know, should be good at counting. But, uh, thing is, is it goes in the same sequence as before, you know, three, two, one. You just want to do that little sputter. And then you want to go back up to two, so... And then you want to go down to an open one just like earlier. So right after that, it's just two and three back to two. Part right after that, not hard at all either. All it is is pinch harmoning. Uh, I mean, pitch harmonicking the uh, second fret on the string right after that, being the E string, and then after that the A string on the you know third fret. So all there is to it. Uh, but right after that, I feel like this is also a bit of a tricky part in the song when you know I'm working with rhythm and such but uh the riff right after this he pulls a little and all that is is like before repeated you know, repeated three frets uh by the way if i'm saying that the song seems super easy not discrediting the song at all. I love the song a lot. Guttural Slug goes hard. You know, big Guttural Slug fan. Uh, but anyways, right back. Uh, but to break down the next part, uh, 
essentially he pulls a segment where he repeats the notes again but the thing is you know different order as well uh it's just open one two one and then three two one and then one two one again but quickly Break it down slowly. It's just open one, two, one, three, two, one. For that, you know, part following. To break down that little burst though, right up here, it's just same spurt as earlier. So it's like a little stutter and then. So. Not very hard at all, super easy to get past. To break down this next part, it is also not hard at all. It's a lot slower, so it's a lot easier to keep pace with. All it is is the segment of notes, it's just. <laughs> Messed up on that last part, but it's whatever. Uh, all it is is just open one. Three, two, three, four, and then open, you know, open one, open, and then two, one, but open as well. And then that last part to finish it off is a pinch harmonic on the third fret on the A string, which is just two strings above that. So, to finish it all off, you know, in that, you know, in this small segment right here. And then it goes right back to the, you know, skip riff from earlier. Right down the next part though, <clears throat> it is also not hard at all. Uh, all it really is is just pinch harmonics, as you know, before. Uh, it's just. Of course, I'm messing it up with my pinch harmonics, but all it is is just open one, two, open, and then hitting the you know, third fret on the uh, E string, right above that, uh, pinch harmonic that, but bend it, and then open again, and then four, three. And then, you want to do the exact same thing, except same fret, still a pinch harmonic, one string above that. all it is. You get the point. You know, I suck with pinch harmonics, you know. Segment right after that. It's just the open bit. It's just, you let it ring out, hit it again, or whatever measure you have forgotten. Then Next part, also not hard at all. Messed it up at first, but it's just open, one O, four, three, and then open O, one, two, one on the next string, which is open, it's just E, and then you do that same thing again on the string right above it. song closes off it is the exact same thing but slower uh, 
Uh, if you're like me, you can put a twist on it or whatever. Or add a Gojira sweep, whatever you want to do. Uh, I hope this helped to any beginner guitarist that may or may not watch. Uh, frankly, I kind of hope no one watches this because I know how kind of useless a tutorial is for this song, or it you know, could be for this song. Uh, that is all I got. I hope whoever's watching this have a good day.